Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand pre-m2 and non-pre-m2 scheduling operating systems. So, the concept of multi-programming operating system has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, let's try to understand pre-m2 and non-pre-m2 scheduling operating systems. Pre pre 2 scheduling the resources which means CPU cycles are allocated to the process for a limited amount of time and then taken away is called as pre 2 scheduling operating systems and non pre 2 scheduling uh, non pre 2 scheduling operating systems is in this scheduling once the resources means CPU cycles are allocated to the process the process holds the CPU till it gets terminated or request for an IO operation so that is what we call it as non non pre to scheduling operating systems okay so uh, definitions are okay now we will try to understand these definitions by using this uh, example so this diagram so for example assume that there is a process p1 process p1 and process p2 so uh, for example if you consider a pre m2 scheduled operating system so whenever the resources are allocated whenever the process is allocated with the resources of the computer or CPU CPU cycles means the process is getting executed on the CPU so it will be allocated uh, for a specific amount of time it will be allocated for a specific limited amount of time so after that after that limited amount of time that will be removed that will be switched off from the running state to the ready state and the and we, uh, the CPU cycles are allocated for another process so such kind of operating systems which are using pm2 scheduling so they are called as preempt scheduled operating systems so such kind of operating systems are also called as multitasking operating systems so we'll try to understand that also so the next one is non preempt scheduled operating systems so once the resources are allocated for example if p1 resources are allocated to the cpu so when it is going to come out from running state to ready state is so uh, whenever the cpu cycles are allocated so it will continue to execute until so when it is going to terminate is if they if there are no io instructions in this in this process p1 so all the instructions are cpu instructions cpu bound instructions so then then all the instructions in the process will get executed so the cpu the cpu cycles the cpu will be allocated for a process until it 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 comes with an io operation if there are no io operations so the process will be allocated for the cpu until the complete execution of the process uh, complete execution of the instructions is done so that is what you call it as non pm2 scheduled operating systems so the multi program operating systems are non pre 2 scheduled operating systems so there is so in our previous class we have, we have discussed about types of operating systems there we have discussed only about multi programming operating systems but we haven't discussed about multitasking operating systems so multi programming and multitasking operating systems are very much similar with respect to to their uh, way of working both of them are very much similar the only difference is so multitasking operating system uses pre 2 scheduling whereas the multi programming operating system uses non pre 2 scheduling uh, scheduling so that is what that is the only difference between multi programming and multi tasking operating systems okay so this is all about pre 2 and non pre 2 scheduling operating systems hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching